Welcome to Everything Currency. This is a show where we talk about everything crypto and mo. I'm your host, Jay, and today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about this bloodbath we've been having for the last couple days. You know, it was all good just a week ago. We were doing pretty well. Then, you know, dropped these coins dropped, and now people are not sitting so well. But some crazy interesting things are happening with this chart. Some crazy interesting things are happening within this market i want to talk to you guys a little bit about dogecoin and believe it or not dogecoin dominance i also want to talk to you guys about the total two show you where we are and show you how that thing is looking right on track even though we're dipping i want to show you the bitcoin prediction chart if you've been following that with me i also want to talk to you guys about the chart of luck so i want to look at the chart of cap real quick and i want to look at the chart of omi real quick because you know what we're gonna look and see when we can start picking up some of these coins or when we can just start waiting to see when our bags are going to start go up and talk to you guys a little bit about how i'm going through this market at this moment and like in my last video i was saying hey you know what be careful it's looking bullish we never know what's going to happen but when things are bullish for so long we have to have these retracements pretty nice ones like you know the five days of retracement that bitcoin did over the weekend so my bad y'all chose a horrible weekend not to do any videos but getting into bitcoin right here so first thing we see is that it drops below the 34 uh-oh that's what i've been saying is my bull run little net right there bitcoin i'll let bitcoin slide a little bit because bitcoin is a little bit different i'm looking for support right here to stay at around 51 thousand if it goes any lower then of course i'm looking at maybe 49 and then the lowest that i want to see it get where i still remain a little bit on the happier bird man money hand side is at 42k we start dropping below 42k then i have to start to think that man boomer might be might be over the the coinbase ipo might have just been the taming that they kept talking about for bitcoin now do I think that's going to happen? Not apparently. Looking at this chart, I can see that over here, we broke away from it a little bit, got a little bit under it, went sideways for a while, and then rose up the prediction chart to follow it. So that's what I'm hoping will happen right here. We kind of ride under it right here and then get back into it, riding it up until July. Now, I wanted to see some bearish days on these charts. It was too many weeks of bulls um at least on the total chart now looking at the total chart right here you can see that um we are bouncing at the 34 which is pretty cool i put this this um fibonacci retracement in there a long time ago we finally broke out of it came landed right on top of it if i just extend it here a little bit landed right on top of it closed a day two days ago and now we're just riding in between that and the 34 but long as we're on top of the 34 i'm still saying we are in some bullish territory for all of the coins right here including bitcoin if we take that out exclude bitcoin this is a chart that i've been really interested in for a lot of time you guys know um it hit the top finally got to the top of this pitchfork this beautiful pitchfork that's been our little friend right here for a long time i think i've probably been watching it from around here um, who knows who cares but it got to the top of it and came back down and now it's bouncing off of some level right here at around um, 8894 is probably the level right about now about uh, in between there about 900,000 about 900 billion dollars for all the altcoins so um, maybe we might go sideways for a little bit that that would be the most bullish thing in my opinion is to kind of go sideways a little bit and then start to ride it back up just to kind of chill off for a little bit let the tdi relax let the rsi chill so it's like we come up first trick come back down this half pipe maybe even go right here and do the big one and continue up on that if not like i said if things get bearish they're going to be dipping below that 34 and that's going to be my first uh-oh button right there so crazy thing about this market that's been happening dogecoin is pumping dope 
everybody's tripping. Everybody in the Telegram group is like, what the hell? Why Dogecoin? Well, Dogecoin always pumps. And the people like Doge. Don't know why. Maybe it's Elon Musk. I don't know. People like Doge. They like memes. I like memes. I don't know. Did he want to buy the meme coin? If I wasn't into crypto, I probably would have bought the meme coin. But um, if you've been on this channel, you're not tripping. You're like, hey, let's go ahead and thumbs up our Doge friends because we've been making gains like that for a minute. Now, Dogecoin dominance actually went up and spiked pretty high from about 30.36% to about 2.59%. Now, that's a crazy increase for one coin in this entire market. The market cap of Dogecoin is pretty high right now at around $50 billion. You know, I know I hit around $50 billion uh, market cap for Dogecoin. Um, so I had a lot of people who are outside of crypto, people who are in stocks, people who don't even know shit about investing, calling me up saying, how do I buy Dogecoin? Please show me how to buy Dogecoin. I need to buy it now. Now, the second coin they told me is SafeMoon, but I said, you got to it ain't that easy to buy safe moon as it is as it is to buy dogecoin but that's a different story anyway so everybody wanted to hop on this dogecoin right here now dogecoin dominance popped up bitcoin dominance took a nice big dip down now i don't think that this was because um the bitcoin price dipped now this happened uh before the bitcoin price really dipped um we've seen some bitcoin dominance go up in the last two days um, once the Bitcoin price dipped and the rest of the altcoins dipped with it, but when Dogecoin pumped, <clears throat> Bitcoin dominance almost hit the flipping, and that was because so much money piled into Doge that we've seen about a 2% increase into Doge and a 2% decrease out of Bitcoin. That's what the Bitcoin dominance did. It wasn't necessarily money flowing out of Bitcoin into altcoins, you know, but hey, that's what happened. Shout out to everybody who got in on Doge. You know, it was about a penny when I could have picked one up. So that's a 50X or 60X, 40X right now. So congratulations on people who made money on Doge. Take those profits when they hit the top now. Yeah, no, this is not financial advice, but you see what's happening. Fear and greed index right now. What? Why did that happen with Doge? Well, same thing that happened in the ICO boom. Last time in the bull run, we had Ethereum lead this thing off with an ICO boom. A ton of money went into Ethereum. Um, we've seen Ethereum dominance spike. Um, you know, similar spike as far as the way the chart looks, but the numbers were completely off because Ethereum was a lot bigger than Doge. But um, similar thing kind of happened in the market and it's all led by greed people are greedy people want to make money what can i say greed is not necessarily a bad thing sometimes it drives people to do good things but anyways um yeah people got greedy and right now the fear and greed index is showing um 57 on the overall market now the reason i'm looking at the overall market and not just the crypto one the crypto one is saying around 70 but the overall market, I'm looking at this one because I think Dogecoin is seeing a lot of activity coming in from the traditional markets. And I know that because I have a couple friends from traditional markets coming in, you know, trying to ask about Dogecoin and do the Dogecoin thing. But, you know, greed is what leads the whole bull market. That's what leads to the eventual blow off top of this euphoria phase right here. So look, we haven't had this yet. We haven't had this in Bitcoin. We haven't had this on the total too. We haven't had this on the total, which is this blow off top, nice long green candle right here. That is the euphoria stage. If anything, I feel like we're probably in this belief slash thrill phase right here in this belief phase a lot of people are going to get shaken out by this multi-day dip if they don't believe they're going to go ahead and start to deny or panic start their capitulation early the people who are going to believe are going to go into thrill and euphoria and that's just the way i think it's going to play out um if it starts playing out the other way then i will act accordingly always got to act accordingly so looking at some of my favorite coins because you know it's my channel Luxo, right now, this is what's going on with Luxo and what I have written up right here. So I did some rough TA because I just recorded this video before this, but it's had some difficulties. And this is what I am seeing right here. So taking out this line and taking out this line, this line was something that I had drawn in the last time I was looking at this chart. Now, when I extended this line down, without adjusting it at all, I can see that, oh, wow, look, it created some type of 
triangle right here for Luxo. If I try to get these more touches, then yeah, maybe there is a triangle right here for me for Luxo with the bottom being right here at around 964, bouncing right there. Hopefully we continue to bounce. Now, if this pattern breaks up, that will be wonderful for the price of Luxo and you know what happens if it goes down. Looking at track, so I'm pretty damn bullish on track right now, although the price is giving me a little bit of anxiety because it's just been moving sideways for a while, but still, that's what I want to see. I want to see the price go sideways for a little bit because it had a nice increase. Um, if we were to go back a little bit, it had a nice increase um, from <clears throat> when I bought some, um, but yeah. I want to see track hold this level. Of course, I want to see everything hold these levels. But if they come back down, which it might because it is below the 13 and is below the 34. Now, that usually spells some dippage. And then I look for the next support level, hoping that it doesn't go below that one. And hope that the 13 goes ahead and gets back under it, scoops it back up, and starts tossing it back to the upside. Same thing for Luxo, that's what I'm hoping for going into Senso. Now with Senso, we have a kind of a different story where we see a little bit of more of recovery happening on here where you have this bottom is not as low as this bottom and this is starting to recover up a little bit, but we'll see the chart of Senso doesn't really look too great. Overall, it looks like a low cap chart for now. Last but not least, our homie Omi looking sad still, you know, not giving us the best time in the last couple of weeks. But it's because, look, where did we spike from? We came from here and went all the way the hell up here. Now, this is just the chart on BitMEX. Keep in mind that this goes even below here. So seeing that this chart is cooling off for a while is actually pretty cool now the main thing that i want to see for omi is same thing like with track and luxo let's see that 13 you know let's see it cross their 13 and then have the 13 scoop it up and bring it back higher right now if it goes lower i'm hoping that it holds this 0 0.006 level if it breaks that level then all hell will break loose for Omi and let's hope that it just doesn't break that level because if it starts going down to 0 0.004 and all these prices and stuff like that yeah let's hope that the NFT the NFT hype stays afloat long enough for us to recover from that so let me know what you guys think is the hype for nfts dying down i do think so i don't think it's going to be around forever it is a good product but the hype will simmer at some point just like DeFi. DeFi in the summer of last year was all the rage calmed down a little bit and here we are waiting for DeFi to pick back up again we might have a similar cycle like that for these nfts i see it's kind of the same thing happening with all these nft projects you know monomon monomon you know cryptomon whatever mon like you know copying pokemon all these food coins same thing same concept you know what i'm saying so we'll see how these coins continue to recover be ready for anything have your stop losses in place um because yeah we don't know what's gonna happen with this market but overall i am still pretty damn bullish you know what i mean let me know where you're at let me know where you think we are on this chart right here how does this chart right here compare to the chart of omi right here how do these charts look you have this phase and that phase and how does that look for oh so let me know what you guys think anyways i just thought that would be cool to talk about wanted to give you guys a quick recap like subscribe turn on post notifications till next time peace